We want to talk about something that we found we couldn't figure out online, and that's Sabang's underground lake, the subterranean lake. Now, go ahead, check out all the videos you want on it. We'll wait. All right, that's enough. We want to talk about how to get there on a budget. Now, it's possible, but a little bit difficult. All right, so you get to Puerto Princesa Airport. You land there, and you want to go see Sabang and go to the subterranean lake. What you need to do is go to the city coliseum first. It's the biggest building in Puerto Princesa. You get there, and... Don't take one of the trikes that are waiting for you. If you head out to the main road, it's about a two minute walk from the entrance of the airport. A tricycle can take you there for about 10 to 30 Filipino pesos. And it's the biggest building, you walk right in, and on the other side, there is a little counter. You can hand over your passports, they'll check them. And from there, you have a permit to go to the Sabang Underground Lake. Now you don't need to pay anything at this moment. You're gonna have to pay once you get there it's going to come to a thousand Filipino pesos. From there, you need to get to the bus station to head to Sabang. Now, this is the key part. We weren't able to get there because of transportation problems. And there are a lot of options to go as a tour, so it can be a bit of a headache to figure it out yourself. And if you wanna do it on your own, the best way to do it, and the cheapest way, is to take the jeepney. Now the jeepney leaves once a day at 12 o'clock and it costs you 200 pesos. Now that is significantly cheaper than the closest offer we got for a private tour or a private tricycle. Private tricycles come in around 3,000 pesos for the two of us and for a tour around 1,000, 1,500 to 2,000 at least per person. So to do it on your own, you have to get there for that one jeepney ride per day. And that leaves at 12 p.m. pretty much on the dot from what we understand. So if you get to the bus station, just you can take a jeepney there. Most jeepneys running down the main road in Puerto Princesa will take you to the bus station. Just check with the driver. It'll cost you about seven to 10 pesos for the ride there. And once you're there, wait around and figure it out. If you do want to check around, ask the guys there. They'll help you out. They'll, they're will they willing to help you out and find the perfect ride for you. We had a guy help us named Cigarette Boy. And if you want his help, just ask around for Cigarette Boy. He was great help and he, his English is really good. So there's no problem um, asking him questions and figuring out the best ride there. And we do hope you get to see this really cool spot. And once you're there, it's pretty simple from what we understand and from the people we met that all you need to do is find one of the boats, fill up that boat, and that's key. You need enough people to fill that one boat up and fill it up and then you're good to go. You can go see the lake, you get about an hour to see the lake, and after that you can hang out in Sabang. Now that jeepney doesn't come back until the next morning, so you do need to stay overnight in Sabang. And that's not a problem, there's a number of hostels there and it's cheaper than Puerto Princesa. But you can also take a bus from Sabang to El Nido overnight if you do choose or during the day. And that might be a better option if you choose to go see Sabang and want to see El Nido afterwards. We'll let you decide and we hope that this does help because there wasn't a lot of information on how to get to Sabang and how to see the subterranean lake for a budget price. The total cost of this per person comes to about 1200 to 1400 pesos. That's cutting it down by close to six, six to 800 pesos total, which we think is a pretty good savings. And that'll get you a really good dinner the night of if you really want to, or even pay for that hostel for that night in Sabang. Have a good journey, happy travels to you. And if you enjoy this video and want more tips and tricks, do subscribe down below and give us a comment on your journey to the subterranean lake. Have a great day. Wow, it got cloudy.